Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm 20 years old. Tell me, have you ever eaten live shellfish or insect as a delicacy? How would you feel if something like this was eating you from the inside out? No, I'm not crazy. It's just that my pursuit of fame and money led me to do something rash that could have cost me my life. At the age of 18, my sister and I moved to New York to attend college. We lived in a small town in Pennsylvania, so there wasn't much prospect for the future, except to stay on my parents' farm and help with it, with the hope of one day inheriting this small piece of land. So the decision to move was made unanimously. We went to different colleges. My sister had been interested in literature since school days, so she chose journalism. I preferred the natural sciences, so I chose medicine. It was hard at first. A big city requires a lot of money, so each of us got a job. I became a sales assistant at a fashion boutique, and my sister was a bartender at a pretty popular club. We studied, worked, had fun, talked about everything, and enjoyed our new life. However, after two years of our life in New York, something happened that changed my life forever. What difficulties did you experience when moving to a new city? Loss of housing? Loss of work? I'd rather face it. One day, when I got home, I noticed my sister lying unconscious on the floor. At first, I thought she was pulling my leg, but I quickly realized she wasn't. I tried to bring her to her senses, but she wouldn't come too. And she was burning up. I was scared and called an ambulance, and they took her to the hospital. There, the doctor said that my sister had a severe form of pneumonia and that she urgently needed treatment. But there was one problem. The meds she needed were very expensive, and I didn't have that kind of money. I didn't want to bother my parents, and her family wasn't so rich. But what should I do? My sister was getting worse and worse and the necessary amount was not available. I didn't always have enough money to pay for an apartment working as a sales assistant, and it was ridiculous to think about paying for my sister's treatment with this money. It was necessary to solve this problem quickly, and I decided to find a second job, and if necessary, even a third. However, where could I get a job to earn enough money quickly? And so I searched for a new job on the internet, I came across a vacancy for a model. They paid a lot and I only had to pass the contest. It sounded dubious and suspicious. As typical ads of this type, quick earnings from $1,000 a day. But I didn't have much choice. And what are you willing to do to save someone close to you? I was ready for anything. I passed the contest easily. Even at school, I was the main beauty, and with age, I only got better. After a couple successful fashion shows, I got the right amount of money, paid for my sister's treatment, and she got better. However, I wasn't going to give up modeling. I was invited to fashion shows more and more often. Well-known brands offered to star in ads for their products, and the contracts got bigger and bigger. Money and popularity turned my head. I quit my old job and didn't go to college. One day, I got a call saying that if I kept missing class, I'd be expelled. In response, I told them to back off and said that I did not care about them and studying. I was invited to all the fashion shows, paid a lot of money, and my appearance was worshipped. Isn't that the dream of all girls? I came to a big city to conquer, and it obeyed me. That's what I thought at the time but my happiness did not last long. One day, when I went to another show, I saw a model I didn't know who was wearing my outfit. I started to find out what was going on here, and it turned out that now she will be performing in my place. But how? This was supposed to be my finest hour. I was told that her appearance was currently more interesting to them and she weighed only 40 kilograms. And for me, there were only a couple of performances left, and my career was over. I couldn't believe it. My money, my fame, 
my popularity. All this was taken from me by some upstart who came from nowhere and took my place. At the beginning of my career, a familiar model told me about a friend who sold pills with the larvae of special cockroaches for weight loss. At the moment, I just laughed. But right now, I didn't see any other way out. I decided that I would pay any price, give anything to get my dream job back. Did you do anything stupid in a difficult situation? Did you think that you were in a hopeless situation? I was disgusted because I hated insects. I was shaking, crying, and couldn't make up my mind for a long time. Although I had laughed at the idea that there was a larvae in the pills. Now I was sure it was true. Gathering my courage and holding back the urge to vomit, I swallowed first one tablet, then the second, and so on for the six pieces, thinking that if you took a large amount, then the effect would come faster. And so it turned out, two weeks later, I lost eight kilograms. They took me back, saying I looked even better than I needed to. Only one thing bothered me. My sister used to tell me that I was pale and that I looked sick. But what did she know? Fame and career did not escape her. I told her abruptly that she was just jealous of me. I had achieved everything myself. How wrong I was. On the crucial day of the show, when my modeling fate was to be decided, I felt a strong pain in my stomach and nausea. I couldn't understand what was going on. I started digging in my backpack for a cure for the pain. And then I remembered about the weight loss pills that I had a month ago. What if the cockroach larvae grew, survived, and now lives in my stomach? I got scared. Why today? Why, with me, did I sacrifice a little for my success? These thoughts did not let me go. But more than that, I was just shaking. What was I going to do with the insect in my stomach? What if there were more of them and they ate me? Should I go to the hospital? No, I decided that the price I had paid for all my torment should not be wasted. And I took every ounce of willpower, neglected the pain in my stomach, and went to the podium. Halfway through it, the pain in my stomach went away, and just when I was happy about it, my head started to spin. Everything went blurry in my eyes, and I lost consciousness. I woke up in the hospital. I didn't understand what was happening, but the pain in my stomach was even worse than it had been before. The doctor stood next to me. I immediately began to cry and told him about how I wanted to lose weight, bought pills with larvae, and that now probably cockroaches lived in me and slowly ate me. The doctor looked at these pills, laughed, and explained everything to me. It turned out that there were no larvae in them. They were just phonies, and my stomach hurt because I hadn't eaten anything for almost a month and had been on a strict diet. My body was exhausted, so no one was eating me from the inside, and in general, there were no cockroaches that eat fat, and even if they did exist, they wouldn't survive in a human stomach. I was ashamed. I fell for this nonsense, lost my common sense because of my selfishness. A few hours later, my sister came to see me. When she saw me, she started to cry and begging me to quit modeling and stop killing myself. In that moment, I remembered how worried I had been about my sister when she was in the hospital and that I had only become a model to save her, not for the sake of my career. Was that kind of career worth sacrificing yourself and your loved ones for? A week later, I got better. I quit modeling, went back to college, and got a job as a hospital nurse. My relationship with my sister improved, and we began to appreciate each other even more than before. And even though I had made a mistake that put our relationship at risk, we are now doing well and happy. I wish you not to make such mistakes and take care of your health. Like this video and tell your friends about it. Subscribe to our channel because there are many more interesting stories waiting for you here. Goodbye.